On Saturday, December 6th, children were invited to spend time enjoying cookies with claws. More than 85 kids pre-registered, with more families walking in on the day of the event. A wide variety of activities created fond memories for everyone in attendance. We invite kids and their families to come out and we have um, cookie decorating. We've got a couple of different holiday themed crafts. The kids all get to make their own bag of reindeer food, which they sprinkle on the lawn on Christmas Eve and it helps to guide the reindeer to their house. And then we also, the big attraction is we have Santa Claus here and all of the kids get to sit on his lap and have their picture taken. We have Walgreens here and they provide a four by six print to all the families. And we also have our sponsor um, Goddard School here and they have one of the uh, holiday crafts that the kids get to, to get to make. Merry Christmas! Old Chris Kringle himself made a grand entrance to the delight of the kids making holiday crafts. The children were treated to a reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas, and Santa also fielded questions and talked about life at the North Pole. Afterwards, kids frosted and decorated cookies before heading into another room to share their wish list with Santa and pose for a photo opportunity. I am hoping that this is um, a program or an event that the kids get to come to with their family. We have a lot of repeat kids each year and it's great because they get to go back through and look at their pictures and see how they've grown and they like to compare Santas and make sure that we do still have the real Santa at this event. Director Lisa Sokol told us it was a fun way to end a busy year full of events at the Orient Center. We were really busy. We have two big events that we do, Barn Days and the Big Rig Gig that are held out at Friendship Park, and we usually have about five to 800 people at those events. The highlight this year was Beaumont flew a helicopter onto our site for the Big Rig Gig this year. Uh, we also had our Boo Bash, which is celebrated, and Cookies with the Claws here at the building, and the focus group for that is young children, and so it's always a fun event for the kids to come and explore and enjoy having and fun at our building. The staff at the Orient Center is already hard at work planning events for 2015. To keep up to date, like their community program's Facebook page or visit their website at orienttownship.org. In Orient Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Three.